Welcome to part 2 of the Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play. And, well, every time you actually you come back to a story, whether you get a game over or, you got, or you're pretty much tired of playing and you come back, you'll get this little narrative of just, a remind, just as a reminder of where you are. And in this case, is Tails. And honestly, I really like that. Well, then again, and Sonic Adventure 1 did do this as well, so... Nothing new. But some cool point out. But now we're in his first stage, Prison Lane, and well, like I mentioned before, he he has a similar style of Gamma. Only because of the ranking system, there's really no time limit. I mean, there's a timer, but there's actually no limit. It depends on how many enemies you kill, and well, yeah, that pretty much how it goes here. Uh, let's see. When it comes to control, when it comes to coming, when it, when it, when it just comes down to just going in a straight line, it's fine. But when you start to turn, you feel that, you feel that slog of coming at you. And uh, I love that. That's a yeah. That's a problem with these mech stages as a whole. Well, is that well? At least one of the problems is that uh, sometimes you sometimes an enemy will just drop right in front of you. And if you're going too fast, it'll drop right on top of you. And that's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap indeed. As I mentioned, I think I mentioned before in part one is that uh, there is a chow garden. However, this time it's actually handled differently. You may have noticed that there are blue box. I passed by some blue boxes. It contains a key. You pick up that key and and if you if you go through this if you go through the whole stage without of dying and then at least I think it is then then you can go to the Chow Garden and and well let's just say that you won't have to go through the hassle of going to the hub world. Also, when I'm picking up besides animals, there are also chaos drives, which leads to the one one of the huge improvements. That is the Chow Garden. And every gun robot I destroy, a it drops like a colored chaos drive. Yellow, little purple, green, and red. And the chaos depending on the color, it it increases a child's stats. That's the yellow drives they've increased their swimming ability. Their the purple drives incre increase their flying. In the green the green chaos drives increase their running, and the red ones increase their strength. And, and it's really necessary if you want to get all the emblems, just like in the previous game. But we are nearing the end of Prison Lane. And we have more enemies to kill, and and there's a there's the gold ring. Thing I wonder what that gate is for, and I don't understand. Oh, there's the robot. Too bad I can't kill it. But I wonder what that gate is for. Well, we can't. Well, we can't really get. We can't really get to that gate, hey, unless we have a certain upgrade. Hey, yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, upgrades actually make a return in this game, hey, as it's not obvious enough. And I gotta say, Amy does get around. Well, Amy. You know what, Amy, her and Cream, they get around, I gotta say, like, Adventure, like, like, Advance 3, he, Cream just somehow, oh, ends up, up in a cyber, in a cybernetic, like, world, or something. Yeah, I've seen Advance 3, I, I mean, I never played it, I only seen a Let's Play, and, well... You can thank Clement for that. And I gotta say, Amy really does give up so easily. It's like, hey, I'll release you if you marry me. Sonic goes, goes, hell no. And then, and then Amy's like, damn it. <laughs> but what's with the writing, I wonder? Well, we're not gonna find that out until near the end of the game. 
But now we're entering Sonic's sec second stage, which is Metal Harbor, or which actually contains our very first upgrade in the game. Well, assuming if you're playing in the Hero Side story, at least. And I gotta say, the, the getting the upgrade is pretty necessary if you want to get the A rank. And why exactly? Well, we'll find out. As soon as just Metal Harbor as a whole, though, it's not really that hard of a stage to begin with. It, with the exception of a certain part, or that I'm gonna be going on to in this in this part. But now we have the light speed shoes, which is pretty different from um Adventure One. But before I get into this, there's, there's a reason why I restarted there. Because getting the A rank to this stage, this is actually one of the hardest stages to A rank. Like for one, you need getting the light speed shoes is only half of it. it. Once you get the light speed shoes, restart the stage. Each this way, you can actually use the light speed he dash on the rings. Things then you can move fast. Because unlike Adventure One, where hey, you had to charge up. Um, next to a trail, if you hit the B button next to a trail of rings, you'll go along on that trail of rings immediately, keeping the pace going. The only downside that it's kind of, it's pretty much mapped to the, to the somersault and the spin dash. The somersault is basically, you ba the somersault is basically used, is to take out certain enemies that have shields, but for the most part, you just need to use it, it to bypass, as small crevices. Is that are in walls. You also want to go on the grind rails those to actually increase your score. But now we are entering the sec the reason why the stage is so hard to begin with. Here's this trick. Go on the edge, spin dash, and jump. H hit the spring, and, and then run. You may notice that this little timer, or right? Hey, that little handle right there. I could I could have grabbed onto it and make it easier on myself, but there's this other handle I decided to grab on instead because, well, let's just say that have grabbing this handle right here is pretty much a requirement. Like, it's mandatory if you want to get hit the A rank. If you don't, well, you ain't A, a ranking this stage. H. And the time limit is so strict. If I were to do that normally, I would have no chance into making it. You have 15 seconds, and I shit you not. That was my first try. No editing. I am lucky to A ranking this stage. See? Hey, I ain't, I ain't an amateur, I'll tell you that. Whew. I don't want to burn myself out. And now we're heading into our rival battle. Easily the most iconic rival battle with Shadow. At least this cutscene, for starters. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake. Yeah, and that's what he was supposed to say, even the subtitles, but unfortunately he was cut off by Sonic. I hate it when the game does that. But another reason why this, this battle is so iconic is, well, every time Shadow gets hit, he says the most out of place line ever in a Sonic game, at least one of the most out of place lines, every time you hit him, he goes, I'm the coolest. It's, I'm the coolest. It's, why is, why hasn't that become a meme? No, instead it's, it's where's that damn fourth chaos emerald. But now we are in Green Forest. It's one of the, pretty much one of Sonic's biggest stories ever. The story of one of the world's biggest U-turns ever. Here, because we are literally in the middle of the stage, right here. And of course the island's about to blow up, uh, which brings us to the stage's gimmick. Hey, but we're in the middle of the stage, and then Sonic 
Like, obviously, he isn't standing around. I'm, I'm like a dumbass. But then, and we decided to make a, a large U-turn. Oh, don't believe me? He, we're gonna encounter that part later. We're, we're actually gonna encounter that set piece later on the stage. But Green Forest get, but this stage's gimmick is basically the time limit. The time limit as a whole, it's not really that threatening. And you only, you have eight minutes. Eight minutes is more than enough. And if you'll beat the stage in under like five minutes, five or three minutes, well, if you're really good. But we're actually going to be getting our next upgrade eight in this stage, which is an upgrade from Adventure 1. And that actually makes a return. And I'm so lucky with the Golden Beetles. Okay, so now I gotta. All right, so once you get, once you head here, we are homing attack this gun robot, and then and then I completely missed, and so I have to go back. Luckily, I luckily think luckily I can still use the spin dash, dash to launch myself over to the other side. Booyah! And now we have the ancient light ability, which is pretty much our light speed attack. It it works pretty much how it did in Adventure One, and I'm actually gonna be showing it off later in the later in the stage, but for now, no. Oh, and oh, and I missed the checkpoint. Luckily, I I I don't really die. It's it's all good. And and well, yeah. See. <sighs> That area we just passed, that's where, that's where we fought. Hot Shadow, well, not really, but, but that's where we were in the beginning of the, of the stage. But for some reason, Sonic decides to take a U-turn, and it's like, I guess Sonic's like, like, oh, oh right, Tails is that way. But hey, you know, he's the fastest thing alive, he can make it out, no problem. Um, eh. Shields make a return. There's not really much to say. He, at least we're coming up to a memorable set piece. He, you can actually hold down the A button at that section and, well, you can get hit by spikes. But this is where I show off the ancient light. I am awesome. If... You... Using the H, if you don't hold forward on the analog stick, then Sonic will just orbit around the enemy. He as if he's a, as if he's some kind of, of insane planet, or moon. And that's the end of the stage. He, and don't worry, I don't A rank the stage. Age, I'm not. I'm not Clement. Yeah, I'm not crazy enough to actually A rank rank every stage. I seem to bring up that guy a lot. Again, he's a good he's a good LP he's a good LP guy and I I recommend watching his channel. Also, yeah. But that is it.